Greetings from the University of Delaware. Not only do we have one representative from the Henlopen Conference, we actually have two. On the D1 side, we have Sussex Central, who is returning to the state championship game for the first time in 10 years. Now the question is, could they cap off a spectacular season by clinching the state championship? Georgetown sending out their boys in style to clash with Sally's. Sussex Central gets the party started. Isaac Barnes roves and reads, finds his brother, Isaiah Barnes, deep in the red zone. 59 yards on the play to put the Knights up, seven to zip. Back from the half, Kasim Lewis with a short run to extend the lead to 21 to nil in the third quarter. Gabrielle Puzangara hands off to Andrew Watkins who drives in and gets Sally's on the board with seven. Fourth quarter, Isaac Barnes goes deep to the end zone. Javon Toppin snags the rock to put the Knights up 27 to seven with 11 left to play. The Golden Knights would seal the deal. Barnes hands off to Tajir Shepard Parker who bolts coast to coast to rack up a score and put the Knights up 33 to seven. as the Sussex Central Golden Knights won their first ever state championship. If you ever came through Sussex Central, this is for you. This is for the alumni, this is for anyone in Georgetown. This, we all family, this is for everybody. It feels amazing, man, bringing it back down south. First one in school history. This, this, there's no, no word to describe this feeling right now. It feels amazing. We live by one rule. You stay together, you win. We all stayed together and we fought like dogs from the beginning to the end, and you see what happened. We talked about playing every play as championship caliber, and, and they did it today. They played every play to win a championship, not a quarter, not a half at a time, but a play at a time. On the D2 side, Woodbridge clashed with some familiar friends, the Wilmington friends, in a rematch of the 2016 D2 state final. It was also Coach Ed Manlove's final game as head coach. Could the Woodbridge Blue Raiders set Coach Manlove out in style with a state championship? Rematch of the 2016 D2 state final. On the very first play of the game, Troy Haynes hands off to Richard Massey, bolts down the sideline to bring the Blue Raiders up seven to nil. Cole Opterbeck for the Quakers shoots one, but is picked off by Tajon Hammond. Raiders dominating 14 to zip with 2.54 in the first quarter. It's a pick six party with Gabriel Westcott getting a piece of the action going coast to coast to put the bridge up 26 to three in the fourth quarter. The friends would get a score back, making it 26 to nine, but the bridge would close the lid on the game with Hammond strolling in to put the Blue Raiders up 33 to nine. And just like that, the Blue Raiders win their second state championship in three years, sending out Coach Manlove in style. It really doesn't matter about me. I'm just glad we had the opportunity to get them in a position to win. So, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. So I have no regrets. You know, I'm, I'm happy for our kids. I'm happy for our community. And, uh, you know, I just try to do the best I can for them. And um, that's really all that matters. It feels surreal. I mean, I'm blessed to be able to do this. And um, I just want to thank all my teammates, all my coaches, the Woodbridge community, everybody from Bridgeville, Greenwood, and Sussex County. I mean, without them, we wouldn't have been able to do what we was able to do. Uh, it's truly a blessing. Uh, a lot of my teammates, we've been playing against since we were seven years old. And it's always been a dream of ours. And to be able to get it twice, it's just, I just thank God, give them all the glory. An action-packed day of football here at the University of Delaware. Jose Cuevas, WBOC Sports, New York.